Tesla unveiling long-awaited cyber cab with a $30,000 price tag. That was not the only product Musk revealed at the company's event last night. Yahoo Finance's Akiko Fujita joins us now with a look at Tesla's robots. Akiko, I know this is something that you have seen up close and personal. What can you tell us? Yeah, we're talking specifically about those Optimus robots. This is a product that Musk has consistently touted as bigger than transport for Tesla. He has said that humanoid robots alone could boost Tesla's market cap to 25 trillion dollars. The event last night marked the first public reveal for the latest version of the Optimus robot. But Musk has previously said that a handful of these humanoids have already been deployed at Tesla's Fremont factory. Here in Los Angeles, we saw those robots walking on the Warner Brothers lot. The first time we've seen these humanoids outside of company walls, Musk saying that he believes every person on the planet will come to own these robots in the future, though he didn't give a specific timeline. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. The price point for these robots will be key to wide adoption. Musk saying last night that he believes the cost will be as low as twenty to thirty thousand dollars, and that is lower than the price most experts have forecast. Robotic engineers I've been speaking with say this could be as ubiquitous as smartphones if it can sell for the price of a car. Now the question is, of course, the timeline. It's worth noting the idea of human-like robots isn't new, but generative AI has supercharged their development. And Tesla faces plenty of competition in this space, especially from NVIDIA. The chip giant doesn't necessarily build the hardware, but it's created an ecosystem that allows robotics companies to speed up development. That means combining its chips, NVIDIA's Omniverse, foundation models that lead to faster learning. And that system is being used by more than a dozen robotics companies, including Figure AI, which is backed by OpenAI, Aptronic, a company we went inside for our next episode a few months ago. In terms of what this means for Tesla's bottom line, well, Goldman Sachs says the industry as a whole could reach a value of $38 billion. It's worth noting that we've already seen the initial use cases for this. Amazon's deployed its humanoid robot, digit robot, in a test facility. BMW's factory is using Figure AI's Figure Robot. And then Mercedes-Benz has a partnership with Aptronic, the company we spoke to as well. And guys, the, the thing that analysts have said consistently is that Tesla has the benefit of scale. It is difficult to scale operations like this, but they already have a manufacturing footprint. The key is, can they beat the market with a lot of these other competitors as well? Um, the question I have to you is, would you buy one? For twenty to thirty thousand dollars, <laughs> it's a price tag Something was a consider, little bit lower. I guess, right? it, it's uh, I, I get that it maybe is lower than what the initial expectations were, but still a, a lot of money to spend. And I think without, with, with, given the fact that there's so much uncertainty, maybe getting people to buy until they really see the payoffs, it might be a tricky sell. I don't know, Akika. What do you think? I, I feel like you would go out on the limb, maybe potentially purchase one. I mean, I would try it, but just <laughs> if you've seen these robots. Like having yeah. something like that in your house, it's, it, it's a bit of a leap, right? Yeah, it is. It's one thing to have your smartphone, but to have, yeah. you know, a piece of metal walking in your house, a whole nother I'm proposition. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm um, with you. Certainly like, a lot of people excited about yeah, this. Yeah, like Elon Musk said, they could be your friend. They did look cute for showing the video right now <laughs> of them dancing up there. But again, this will certainly be an interesting a story, to say the least, to watch. Akiko, yeah. great stuff. Thanks so much.